You may have heard that there is no easy way to sink an aircraft carrier. In our case, there is almost no way to sink a modern U.S. Navy carrier. These expensive and advanced military ships are deployed and operate in every ocean around the globe. That means that it's really crucial for the U.S. Navy to protect them from potential threats. That's why they are built and deployed in a way that it's almost impossible to sink such a vessel. Without further ado, let's see how this is achieved. U.S. aircraft carries are beasts of the ocean. Considering that U.S. Navy is the biggest in the world, it's clear that it operates the most advanced and capable aircraft carriers. The American Navy has in total 11 active aircraft carriers, although a lot of people believe there are more than 11. That's because they wrongly consider amphibious assault ships as aircraft carriers. The U.S. Navy's greatest carriers are the Nimitz class and the Gerald R. Ford class. The Nimitz class carriers have sailed since 1975 and are currently the second biggest carriers worldwide. It only falls short of the Gerald R. Ford class that holds the record for the biggest aircraft carrier in 2021. It's capable of carrying over 75 aircraft and is powered by one Bechtel A1B reactor. The Gerald R. Ford class carrier is the worthy subsector of the Nimitz class. Its single reactor is more convenient and powerful and the vessel is equipped with advanced systems and an array of modern features. Although these two carriers are considered the best in the world, the United Kingdom and Japan also operate excellent carriers like the Queen Elizabeth class and the Shinano, respectively. Why the U.S. Navy protects them so much? The role of an aircraft carrier is pretty important. It's really a floating base that helps the Navy operate an aerial attack everywhere in the world. Their contribution in tactical and strategical missions is very significant and many times decisive. Their purposes in battle can vary and mainly depend on the capabilities of each ship. Considering how dangerous this type of vessel could be on the battlefield, they would be big targets on the water. Such ships are unsurprisingly very expensive to develop and build. For example, the latest Ford-class carriers cost almost $12 billion each. Besides that, operating costs aren't cheap either. It's estimated that the most advanced carriers of the U.S. Navy cost over $1 billion annually to operate. Taking in mind that the protection plan of these ships is really important to the navies of all nations. That's why the U.S. Navy has invented the Carrier Strikes Group. Such groups contain an aircraft carrier and usually a cruiser, a bunch of destroyers and frigates, submarines, and other auxiliary ships. The Carrier Strike Group is one of the most powerful naval fleets composition that operates in the 21st century. Why they can't be sunk? To see how hard it is to really sink a carrier, Let's imagine a hypothetical scenario between a carrier strike group and an enemy fleet. First of all, let's assume that an enemy aircraft or ship tries to attack the carrier. The carrier's first move would be to deploy the air wing. That means that the F-18 and the F-35 fighter jets will destroy every possible danger even before it gets close enough to attack. The F-35 has especially advanced systems and it's very efficient in battle. But if the air wing, for some reason, can't neutralize the danger and the enemy gets closer, then it's time for the rest of the carrier group to take on the challenge. The nuclear-powered submarines in combination with the powerful destroyers like the Arleigh Burke class can detect and eliminate everything that threatens the fleet in an impressive perimeter. Equipped with a variety of armaments, these vessels can destroy any possible threat. Plus, the auxiliary ships are always there to support and supply the front line of the fleet. Even in the case that the enemy threat approach close enough to attack the carrier, the ship has its own advanced defense systems. Beyond radar and other modern technology, the carriers are equipped with very efficient armament. They have automated guns, missiles, and systems that are capable of protecting the ship on their own. 